So we are approaching some Jewish uh, feast days that are important. So I want to give you a little background about Rosh Hashanah. So Rosh Hashanah literally means head of the year in Hebrew, and it is the beginning of the Jewish New Year. It is the first of the high holidays in it, uh, or days of awe, and, and it ends 10 days later um, with Yom Kippur, which is the Day of Atonement. Now, Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah begins with the sounding of the shofar, which is an instrument made of the ram's horn, and, it, and uh, they are proclaiming that God is king of the universe. The sound of the shofar is also a call to repentance. It's like a wake-up call to re-examine um, ourselves and our commitment to God and then to correct our ways. So, September 26th, 2022 on our calendar is Rosh Hashanah and on the Jewish calendar it is the first of Tishra. So it is their new year which begins the Jewish new year of 5783. So September 26th, 2022 begins the Jewish year of 5783. So why is this important to know? because the Lord has showed me some things um, that are lining up for this date and how it how this date connects with the United States of America. So I want you to carefully follow along what the Lord has shown me and um, and what um, the revelations that he's given me. <clears throat> so first, the Holy Spirit told me to add up the individual numbers of the date 9-26-2022. So I took these numbers, 9 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 2, and it equaled 23. <clears throat> then Holy Spirit told me to add up the individual numbers of the, the new Jewish New Year that happens on that day, and the year is 5783. So I added up 5 plus 7 plus 8 plus 3. It also equals 23. So then I was prompted to go to my numbers dictionary, and um, I was just, I, I just love how the Lord, uh, he, how he ties it all together and works it all out. So in the numbers dictionary, the number 23 symbolizes a call to preach the gospel where you will receive supernatural power for the preaching of the gospel. Hallelujah. Um, then the Holy Spirit also prompted me to look up scriptures that were the reverse number of 926. So in other words, I was have I was looking up scriptures that were in chapter 26 verse 9. Now, when Holy Spirit began to lead me to these scriptures, I was just like really amazed at, at how they tied together and how they really paint a picture of what is really happening right now at this season and in at this time. So what I want to say before I read the scriptures is that the Lord is ready to reverse things and he's about to abundantly bless his children with a new beginning. So the first scripture that the Holy Spirit took me to was Jeremiah 26, 9. Why have you prophesied in the name of the Lord saying this house shall be like Shiloh and this city shall be desolate without an inhabitant. And all the people were gathered against Jeremiah in the house of the Lord. So we see right now in this season and in this time, there is great persecution that is happening um, um, against very specifically the prophets because the prophets are speaking the word of the Lord. And very soon there's going to be a reversal of the persecution of the true prophets of the Lord. Now, the persecution is coming from two different areas. It's coming from the religious church, and it's also coming from the elite who are trying to establish this one world order. So even right now, 
um, there is a particular prophet, I'm not going to name his name, who um, his life is being threatened and he has been in undisclosed locations for his safety. And that persecution is soon going to end because the Lord is going to elevate the prophets. Um, the next scripture that Holy Spirit uh, uh, showed me uh, and took me to was Ezekiel 26, 9. And, and this particular scripture, when I read it, I, I got really excited and I'll, I'll explain why. It says, he will direct his battering rams against your walls and with his axes, he will break down your towers. Now, the reason I got so excited about hearing that scripture or seeing that scripture was that Tim Sheets spoke of a dream that he had. And in his dream, it was the 4th of July of 2022, and he was in Lafayette Park right across from the White House. And by the way, this is the same park where a lightning struck, uh, lightning strike uh, hit and killed um, a few people, and that just happened recently. So in his dreams, uh, in his dream, Tim Sheets saw an angel of the Lord carrying a 12-foot log. The angel told him that he was an angel of the Lord and that the log was a battering ram to ram the White House to remove the satanic hold over the White House. And this angel also said that there were four of these battering ram angels awaiting for the command to proceed. So very soon, all I can say is very soon, there's going to be a reversal at the White House. Um, the next scripture that Holy Spirit took me to was Isaiah 26, 9. And it says, with my soul, I have desired you in the night. Yes, by my spirit within me, I will seek you early. For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. <clears throat> So in this scripture, we see that the remnant are seeking the Lord and crying out in prayer. And when the judgments of the Lord fall upon the wicked, then people will learn righteousness because they're going to see the wicked being um, removed by plagues and by pestilence and, and, um, um, and by famine. And so uh, as the wicked are judged, righteousness will flow through the United States of America. Hallelujah. Uh, okay, so the next three scriptures that Holy Spirit gave me pertain specifically to the remnant. And remember, it's still that, that chapter 26, verse 9 scriptures. So God is reversing things for his remnant. And he is giving us a, a place, uh, or is taking us to a place of great blessings. So Deuteronomy 26, 9 says, He has brought us to this place. And he has given us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. So the Lord is giving land to his children as a blessing. And for some, he is restoring land that has been taken from you. And he is also returning the freedoms to our lands that have been stripped by the enemy. And I'm talking about not just the U.S., but across the world. He is returning freedoms um, that have been stripped from our lands. Amen. The next scripture that Holy Spirit gave me was Leviticus 26, 9. He says, For I will look on you favorably and make you fruitful, multiply you, and confirm my covenant with you. So the Lord is showing his children great favor and causing us to be fruitful so that everything that we place our hand to will um, will multiply will 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 prosper he is confirming his blood covenant with his children so that when the plagues and the pestilence and the famine hits it will not come near us because of the blood covenant. We will be like the children in Goshen when the plagues hit Egypt and the plagues hit them and it did not hit the Israelites. And the third scripture that he gave to me uh, was Job 26, 9. And it says, he covers the face of his throne and spreads his clouds over it. And the Holy Spirit showed me that this is the cloud of the Lord's glory that is imminent. Amen. 
So now I want to share with you what the Lord spoke to me. And this is what he said. September 26th is the beginning of the new year on the Hebrew calendar. It is the first of Tishra. It is also the new beginning for the United States of America. Because the USA has been so connected to Israel, I have chosen their new year to be the USA's new beginning. This new beginning will usher in governmental changes from the presidency to the Congress to the Senate and to the governors. Many have prophesied of these events, and this is the season for them to happen, says the Lord. And then the Lord said something um, that kind of took me off guard. He said, look up what September means. And so when I looked up what September means, I, I was just blown away. So September comes from a Latin word, septum, which means seven. In the ancient Roman calendar, September was the seventh month until they added January and February. So keeping in mind that September means seven, Rosh Hashanah falls in September on our calendar. On the Hebrews religious calendar, Rosh Hashanah begins on the seventh month. So Tishra on the religious Hebrew calendar is the seventh month. So we see Rosh Hashanah has a double seven associated with it. And then the Lord spoke these words to me. He said, now you are seeing how these dates are connecting for my purposes. September means seven and Rosh Hashanah occurs on the seventh month of the Hebrew religious calendar. And he said, you also saw that the numbers of the date of the Jewish New Year that falls on September 26, 2022 on the Gregorian calendar adds to 23 and the new Hebrew year, which begins uh, 5783, also adds to 23. And then he said this, child, nothing will stop what I have planned for this date. Just remember, it is a new beginning for the United States of America and the world. Hallelujah. So that is the word of the Lord um, regarding Rosh Hashanah and the U.S. And I'm also posting another video on my platform from a minister who received a word from the Lord also regarding Rosh Hashanah. His name is Tom Painter and his wife, Margaret. They preached the gospel with mighty deliverances and mighty healings occurring. And so be looking for that video right after this one. So may the Lord bless you. May his glorious face shine upon you on this month of September and during Rosh Hashanah. Hallelujah.